Hello and welcome back. I'm David. I'm 71 years of age and I live in Bosnia and Herzegovina. And uh, on these videos, I try and talk about what it's like being not only a foreigner living in the Western Balkans and in particular in Bosnia and Herzegovina, but also my life as a slightly older person. As I say, I'm over 70 now and um, I'm telling some stories about my life and about what it's like to be here. In the last video, I talked um, about cultural expectations, what it's like to come from somewhere like the United Kingdom and then live in a culture that is so vastly different. So thank you so much to people for making um, their comments about the video. But today I want to talk about something that has taken a long time for me to get my head around. I think I understood it from when I first arrived, but I, I want to talk about that now because a lot of people that um, I meet who know very little about Bosnia always seem to know the negative things not the positive things. And the other thing is that what they do know is uh, completely out of context. And so they build up this wrong, false impression um, of the country. Until yesterday, I'll be totally transparent, I didn't know that what I'm about to talk about today is the concept of Veze, and that is about connections. When I came in 1998, to run a project here, well, to set up and run a project which lasted for seven years here. Initially, I had to look for people to help me, local people. And at the time, it was a media project, right? So I was looking for radio presenters. And I got introduced to a couple of people. And I just wanted to know where I could find trained professionals, etc, etc. And the first thing was uh, I was being suggested, right, uh, family members or close friends. And I remember distinctly saying, no, 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 no. We don't do that. We're going to look and be totally transparent and find people with the skills that we need. Because back in the UK, everything is transactional with us, right? There is a way that we do things. And although, yes, people do help each other's family members out, it's not as evident as it is here. This concept, VESA, as I say, I didn't know about the name that there was such a thing until a few days ago. VESA is, I don't know how best to describe it, so I'm going to try it to do that in the best way how, and I hope that you'll stick with me on this. So my personal experience. When I arrived, I was introduced to people. I didn't have too many friends, but people tried to befriend me because I had a project. And back in 1998, salaries were pretty poor and the salaries that my project were offering were exceedingly high in comparison. So people wanted me to employ their friends. I didn't really want to do that at the start, but gradually I did. Some people were okay, some weren't. At the end of that particular project, I'd worked out that I could do a mixture of friends and family plus uh, people that I knew had the skills to do the job. And if the project had been running up until today, I think there would have been no family members um, present in the project. But here people help each other out, right? It starts within the family. The family is very, very close. And if, let's say, the majority of the family was made unemployed for whatever reason, those that were employed would give their money to help those that didn't have it. So it's very, very 
close uh, within the family, connections helping each other out. That then spreads outwardly. OK, so if you're not doing too well at school um, and you need a job, you will always be you will always be asking people that, you know, extended friends and relatives as well and former colleagues, maybe. Um, do you know of any jobs going? Yes, there are. Could you recommend my my son, my daughter, my uncle, aunt, whatever it is, even though they don't know um, the skills required to take that job. That goes even further into business and even into politics. Um, I don't know, is it called nepotism back in the UK? I'm not, I'm not too sure, but here it is evident in everyday life, Veze, and it works here. I'm not saying it's correct or incorrect, because once again, if you go back to my previous video about culture, I'm not here to impress all the cultural norms that I grew up with or that I thought were normal here in Bosnia Herzegovina. We are two different cultures, two totally different cultures. So if a political party is doing well, people will want to get introduced to that so that they can get employed. And unlike the, uh, uh, the United Kingdom, political parties have a big, big sway. So if you want to get a good job, join the party. The, the party will find you a job. I find that rather weird, even after 22 years. But that's how it is here. This concept of VESA, people helping each other out. So as a foreigner or as a long term visitor here, you will quickly notice that you will build a circle of friends and that circle of friends will then get ever bigger. When you move into your accommodation after some time, normally, um, you'll get to know your neighbours and your neighbours will invite you around for coffee, uh, for meals. You'll meet them and depending on linguistics, you'll discuss things just like you would anywhere else in the world. But as this um, circle of people that you know increases, so your VESA increases. And you might use it yourself. Um, in total transparency, I'm still going under some medical issues. And there are waiting lists. And yeah, there are all different sorts of um, medical ad assistance available to me. But through my circle of contacts, I've now managed to get my problem sorted and maybe quicker than uh, other people because that's how it works here. Connections. In my project life, back from 1998 to 2005, a lot of the international people that I was mixing with at the time um, had almost persuaded me that this was rampant corruption and it should be stamped out. Once again, people that weren't going to stay here, that really didn't have any interest in being here, apart from the mega salaries that the international community were offering at that time. And I nearly fell into the trap. And sometimes when I see things happening, when I watch things on uh, television here or I pick up on a conversation somewhere, I think that that is that is corruption because it would be classed as corruption back in the United Kingdom. But the systems here are different and people here are different. And I keep going on about this to try and reinforce the fact that that's what it is. And this um, culture, subculture, if you like, of helping each other is very uh, prevalent. But I think it works and it's been working for a long time. I don't know historically how far it goes back, maybe generations and generations and generations from what I hear about life in the former Yugoslavia under Tito's um, 
strong socialism. It happened there. Party members helped out party members. If you were in the party, you got good jobs. If you weren't in the party, maybe you didn't get a good job. I don't know. But these are things that I hear. And some of them are quite honestly third hand. So VESA, it is about connections. And connections mean a lot. And so when you come to visit, which I really, really highly recommend that you do, don't be surprised um, when people are asking you if they befriend you, can you help me to do this? Do you know somebody in your company here in Bosnia and Herzegovina that's got any job openings because my young niece needs a job? You might be thrown back with that to start off with. But think about it. Just because it's not the way that your home culture or the culture that you were born into works doesn't mean it's wrong. So that's what I wanted to talk about today. Bit of a ramble, I know, but I think it's important to say it. Thank you very much indeed for everybody that's been commenting uh, and liking uh, these videos that I make. Oh yeah, and I was asked, why is it, David, that you keep drinking tea? This is English tea. And yet, you know, you have podcasts uh, and blogs with the name of Coffee and Rakia. Yeah, I started off with Coffee and Rakia because those are the two things that I think really identify with uh, Bosnia and Herzegovina. And I drink tea, yeah, because I'm a Brit. It's like, it's like a comfort drink to me. Okay, thank you very much indeed. Vidi Musa Opet. See you again very soon. And uh, yeah, stay safe.